Greetings, Scorpio. This is going to be a monthly reading for May. I'm going to look into what's coming for you guys in your love life during this time, ladies and gents. What's going on with Scorpio in the month of May? Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> a lot of fire energy. Let's see. What's going on? What, what is it that, you, that Scorpios are going to be dealing with? In the month of May, when it comes to their love life, what is it? All right, Scorpio. Wow, did I just say fire energy and we get the King of Wands? I originally saw the Emperor, card of Aries, and the Strength, card of Leo. Anyways, you're dealing with someone here that is be quite different from you. All right, nevertheless, talk to me about this individual here, that Scorpio. Seems to be involved with what is their energy toward Scorpio? The high priest. Wow, look at that. The hierophant in the traditional tarot. Ladies and gentlemen, you got someone here that has got serious intentions with you. All right. They're seeking to basically establish, establish a relationship that is founded on balance, flat out. Balance, righteousness, truthfulness reliability, trust, all right? This is the sort of energy that I'm picking up with this individual here that you are dealing with. Tell me more about the energy that this individual holds for Scorpio. So this doesn't seem as if it's anything new, all right? Whomever it is that I'm tuning into, Scorpio, whomever, whatever Scorpios I'm tuning into, you guys have been invested into a relationship or someone has been invested into a relationship with you. If you haven't been invested in a relationship with someone, Someone has been invested in a relationship from a distance, all right, in, in a sense of dreaming or, you know, basically imagining a relationship with you. However, I do get the indication that there is engagement. Where, what is the current, what is the current state of the connection between this individual and Scorpio? What is the current energy at this time? All right, so look, basically you guys have been dealing with someone. All right, relationship seems as if it's been kind of playful. It's been kind of um, ex enthusiastic, if you will. This is this is an energy that just brings excitement. This is an individual that you that you look forward to communicating with. This is a person that looks forward to communicating with you and engaging with you. All right. However, things in the month of May are getting more serious. From the Knight of Wands to the King of Wands. All right. I really get the indication that this individual is going to be stepping up their game here when it comes to establishing a connection with you. All right. And there is an element of them expe expecting reciprocity. Okay. I get the sense that this individual feels that the feelings are mutual. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> what are Scorpio feeling? What are Scorpio's? Oh, there you go. The goddamn King of Cups. <clears throat> I love it when I'm about to just formulate a word or I got a question in my mind, right? I got a question. I have yet to formulate it into words and it's like the electricity just moves at the speed of light and it beats my tongue. Okay. And it just flies out. It's not me. It's not me. All right. I'm not doing this. I'm simply just the decipherer. I'm just the, the translator. But anyway, Scorpio, it seems like you got some heavy feelings for this individual. All right. Scorpio, you're in a position where I'm definitely connecting with Scorpios that got an element of emotional maturity. So, you know, this isn't a young sort of immature individual. Although you may be moving towards exploring something, there's some seriousness to you. All right. Even if you may be a very young Scorpio and you may be immature in some aspects of your life. I get the sense that when it comes to approaching this relationship, you are coming forth through a lens of maturity, of seriousness, okay? Despite its playfulness and despite its, its uh, current established status, there is an element of seriousness within you when it comes to your emotions, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Tell me more about Scorpio's feelings towards this individual. Determination. I, I feel that... In regards to what I just touched on, you possibly haven't been too expressive in regards to this. So your feelings can run deep, ladies and gentlemen, but you might be the sort of individual that doesn't wear your heart on your sleeve. I get the sense that this individual hasn't really won your absolute trust or hasn't really 
you know, got you to this, to this state of al allowing you to be vulnerable with them. All right. However, this is moving. Tell me more about Scorpio's desires towards this individual. Crosswatch around, I'm doing you justice here. All right, this one's for you. What does Scorpio want with, with this individual? <clears throat> Death. Okay, this is transformation. This is your energy. This is what I'm talking about. I love it. I love it. What's on the other side of this transformation? What, what is it that Scorpio is compelled to achieve here? Hmm, interesting. Well, moving on from a better state, that's for sure. Moving on from a better... Scorpio, are, are you coming from a place of lacking contentment, ladies and gentlemen? All right. Scorpio, I, I'm getting the indication that prior to this relationship or aside from this relationship, you may not be too content with your love life. You may not, you may not be too exuberant uh, about your love life at this time, to be honest. You may be getting over something. You may be... Uh, transforming your own personal experience of, of something frictional or tumultuous when it comes to your love life. And you're ready to just open up the gates of your kingdom and go out and explore the world when it comes to this. <clears throat> Talk to me about the, the mutual energy. Let's look into the mutual energy between you and this individual. Well, there you go. This is something new, ladies and gentlemen, the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is all about just clarity, okay? Opening up Forms of communication, opening up lines of communication. So yeah, you're you are in contact. You guys probably have each other's number and social media and all this shit, and you guys communicate, etc. But what I mean is the form of communication, the level of communication. You can talk to someone. Look at it's like there's people. There's two people getting to know each other. One individual is not going to be calling that individual in the morning and in the evening, right? Because the relationship is just not there. What I'm seeing here with the Ace of Swords is a form, a different form of communication. One that maybe is a little more inclined towards that, a little more personal and intimate form of communication. All right, let's look into it. <clears throat> let's look into it. Let's look. Let's look into it. Let's look deeper into this new communication coming within the relationship. Reciprocity, ladies and gentlemen. Reciprocity. All right, this is a fluidity within the relationship. So I do get a sense that someone here was more invested in the relationship than another. Why, Scorpio, to be honest, I'm getting the sense that you could have been a bit invulnerable, possibly because you've been dealing with past hurts, possibly because you're moving on from, from past hurts. And now it's kind of like you're opening up to this individual. This individual has been waiting for this. This individual has been wanting this. This individual has been quite patient with the development of this relationship. And it seems that Crosswatcher, your wish is coming to fruition. You're going to have the opportunity to connect on a deeper level with Scorpio because it seems that Scorpio is opening up, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Why am I speaking like I'm not, not like this is not the Scorpio's reading? I should just make these readings for Crosswatchers. <clears throat> Maybe I should. Maybe I should. Let me know in the comments how many cross watchers are watching this. Just give me a thumbs up or or a wink. All right, you don't gotta you don't gotta give yourself up. Just let me know. Let me know. All right. Anyways, I see the trajectory of the relationship, and it seems that things are gonna be more fluid. Things that are gonna be they're just gonna be a lot more open, if you will. They're gonna be a lot more open, and based on the trajectory of where this is currently going. Where is it bound to move toward? Where is it bound to move toward? Show me. <clears throat> All right, Scorpio, this is for you. All right, it's not so much regarding the relationship. It's more so you closing out whatever it is that you have been dealing with. All right, so after all, this is your, your, your reading, your reading, your love reading, Scorpio. And what I'm seeing here is that you've been... You've been possibly holding on to some baggage when it comes to emotional turmoil, per se. All right, emotional pain, emotional difficulty that you went through in the past that you are processing and transforming as we speak. This relationship is going to be the catalyst to you fully obliterating what you've been through. All right, fully obliterating the obstacles that your past puts in front of you. Mind you, we can't really get rid of our past. 
our past is us, right? It's in our memory bank. It's part, it's part of us. It's part of our life story, essentially. We can never get rid of our traumas. It's not like we can do, all right, extract them and get rid of them. No, we don't live with these things for the rest of our lives. But we can absolutely transform how we experience them, okay? And whatever it is that you've been through, the pain that it comes with is what's going to be relinquished, all right? It seems as if you're going to move closer to, to any move. You're going to grow in regards to your own emotional state. All right. And why is this? Despite that you and your individual may be very different. There's a notable chemistry. Okay. There's a notable chemistry that so long that you remain open to this, as I see you doing, the connection is something, is something that's going to prosper you as an individual while simultaneously prospering the connection with each other. All right. Let's not just focus on the growth of the relationship. What I seek to emphasize is the personal growth that you're going to undergo through growing this relationship. That is what I'm seeing here, Scorpio. And that's quite positive, ladies and gentlemen. All right. It's quite positive. You see, sometimes people come into our lives to help us, whether they're going to be here forever, whether you're going to marry this individual or not. <clears throat> who's to say? All right. Who's to say? I'm going to look into them deeper here in, in the extended reading. However, based on the trajectory of this current affair, it's, it's bound to go towards an opportunity to go that far, but it's really up to you and them, right? It's really up to you and them. You guys could finally open up the lines of communication, be a little more intimate with one another, and you find out that, you know what? That person isn't my cup of tea, all right? Absolutely normal, absolutely valid. However, there's things to learn from these experiences, and that's most important, all right? Your own personal evolution. And that's why relationships come into our lives to teach us lessons, whether we're going to be with them for the rest of our lives or not. They're here for our soul evolution. Okay. And that's what, that's what I see uh, ensuing from this relationship. So guys, you have a natural knack for your own emotional energy within you, considering that you're a water sign. Use your intuition. If this individual, you know, makes you feel comfortable enough to open up, do so. Do so, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to help you transform this energy. It's going to help you overcome and surmount past ordeals that you may still be holding on to. All right? That you, you are already compelled to get rid of and transform. All right? Get out of your comfort zone. So long that you feel it intuitively. So long that you feel comfortable to do so intuitively. All right, Scorpio? This is a very positive reading, ladies and gentlemen, truly. I see positive transformation ensuing when it comes to your emotional life in the month of May. I'm going to take this to the extended and I'm going to dig and dissect whomever it is that you're dealing with. All right. I'm going to bring you clarity in regards to this individual, in regards to their intentions and desires, the actions and so on and so forth. The link to the extended will be in the description. Scorpio, it's a pleasure as always.